I'm Carl Smith and I'm a science journalist at the ABC. Check this out. Oh, ooh, stinky toxic goo. So the reason I've been shrunk down to size for this series, Mini Beast Heroes, is so that for ABC Education, we can introduce kids to these insects up close and personal. But also we want kids to learn a little bit more about the insect kingdom and exactly why they're so important for our life and for the life of all creatures on the planet. Deacon Motion Lab is a commercial grade motion capture facility and we've been developing methods for creating uh, real-time virtual production. We're really interested to see how we can make animation in a different way. The European honeybee. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> As you can see, I'm wearing a pretty interesting motion capture suit and these little baubles all over me are picking up my movements. I would normally also be wearing a headpiece uh, for recording here at the moment that picks up my facial movements. The main thing we do is capture the movement of people. We have adapted that by adding real-time facial capture, so capturing the movement and the emotion of people's faces. We've taken that one step further by also being able to capture props and show real-time visualisation using game engine technology. Those are funny eyebrows. They're antennae. And they're covered in thousands of tiny little sensors that help her touch, taste and smell. Hey, hey, stop. Stop it. It's just me. It tickles. Real-time visualisation is being able to allow a director or a storyteller to see the CG characters, the computer-generated cartoon characters that they're working with, Instead of seeing a performer or an actor wearing a motion capture suit, which is covered in dots in a black space, they're seeing the entire CG world around them, but also the actual CG character that they're driving. The stupidest thing I've done so far is probably riding a giant mat. Uh, imagine like you're riding a horse, except it's just a mat on its side, and I'm meant to be riding an ant. Meet the meat ant. Or if you speak Latin, the purple rainbow ant. We can see enormous potential in the way that this animation pipeline allows directors, producers, almost anyone who um, has some experience in, in thinking about the moving image to step in and create animation dynamically and almost instantly see the results of what it is that they're doing. I've shot mocap before and I've worked with mocap before and I've done countless animated shows but this is like a mocap shoot and an animated show all fitted together. So I've never done anything like that before. It is a different experience because you're working with an actor live for performance and you've got all these other things that you've got to think about. We are combining real-time facial motion capture. So we're capturing that on one computer. We are capturing the body motion capture. We are also playing back in real time the animated insect characters we have full 360 degree CG virtual worlds, so, which our performer can see. At the same time, we're also capturing the movement of our virtual camera, which has full lensing capabilities and all the real world camera movements that a real camera can do. We're also really interested in the potential to produce immersive content for technologies like virtual reality and augmented reality. These are all going to be new technologies that storytellers will be looking at using. It's an R&D project, so no one's really done this kind of thing before. All these bits have got to fit together, and I think it's been really amazing how it has all fitted together.